Afro House followers. How are you today? I'm going to go ahead and give it a second, make sure my video's up and running, and give everybody a chance to tune in. So as you guys join, um, just give a good hello. Let me know if you can hear me. So we're gonna be making these fun little hammer tone earrings today, learning a little bit more about some other tools with um, from Impress Art. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna move these guys right over here. So for this project today, um, you're gonna need you know that little nice um, stamping block. I do have a little hole puncher, a metal hole puncher, and then I got my one inch. Uh, metal stamping circle blank and then I'm using the dapping block today and then our uh, multifunctional hammer so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to put this in so I'm using the ball pin this uh, set does come I believe with four different heads so it has another textured one and then a couple flat ones but there's gonna be this little notch in here and you're gonna want that to face the base of here and you're just gonna slip it in and then you screw this all the way until it's tight. So when I go to use this, it is designed to be held your hand down below here. So you're just gonna hold your hand like this with this tool, and that's gonna be how you hammer with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my blank set up here. And I'm using um, some straight edge taping from Impress Art, just so that my um, piece isn't moving all around on the screen for you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead, I got that in hand, and I'm just gonna start hammering away. It's gonna be a little loud, and it might shake the camera a little bit, so bear with me. see that I'm gonna bring it up a little bit closer and it's just putting some little that hammer tone little mark in there with that ball pin and I'm gonna go ahead and cover the whole thing I will go along the edges um, to make sure that those are looking organic and nice and hammer tone as well but I'm first gonna go ahead and do that whole surface because otherwise you're gonna have a really straight line when the rest of it's really nicely hammered. Okay, and then I just gotta move the tape and do that little top part there. much or little um, as of the hammer tone as you like um, it really comes down to a preference now I'm gonna go ahead and come in here with the hole punch I believe the smaller side will give me the same size punch as the one that's already in this blank so I'm gonna go ahead and take it to that smaller side I'm gonna spin it on down where I just have enough room to slide my stamp in there. I'm going to try to bring this up a little higher so you guys can see. So I want to make sure that when I have my stamp in there that it's lined up and then I want to make sure that it's going to go further enough in so that um, I'm not going to have any issues. 
to get it just a tad tighter. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spin this. Oops, wrong way. Spin, spin, spin. I'm gonna try to bring this up a little closer so you guys can see what it looks like. So it just pushes right down in that middle. And then I'm gonna come back up with it so I can release that metal piece. Voila, you got two holes there. So now you can make a pendant, use jump rings, you can connect it just like that. But we're gonna go ahead and bring it into this dapping block. So what this does is it's gonna give your um, blank a curve, a, like a curvature. Um, since this is round and it fits perfectly in the base there, we're gonna go ahead and dome it so that hammer tone side is facing out. Now, with this, you can hammer it as much as uh, you want or as little as you want. Give me one second. I'm gonna grab one other tool. Okay, I was gonna go ahead and use a flathead for this uh, on this uh, multifunctional hammer, but. You're gonna go ahead and wanna just use your Argo one. I think this one definitely works a little bit more. I can really get that curve in there. So you're just gonna pop this right here. And again, you're gonna go ahead and just hammer. Now don't be afraid to give it a little umph. It's gonna shake everything. And you're gonna see on this that um, my piece will move on me. It's okay. these so they don't fall off the table. As you can see, it's kind of doming there. Now, the more I want it to, I can kind of push it up on the sides and go down. This is a loud and a uh, really shakes your table. So make sure wherever you are doing this that you have a sturdy table. Otherwise you will get some bounce back and you might kind of have some difficulties. So I like the way that looks. See how it has a good little curve on it. Now I could go ahead and keep doing it and I can get more of a dome. Um, I'm not wanting anything really extreme. I just kind of want it to go a little bit. Um, now with this dapping block, I want to mention, I could go ahead and fill it up. So we do have like a blank piece that could fill this up and you can really get a dome piece out of that with no problem. Um, you might have it kind of pop out on some sides, but you just, again, like I was showing you guys how it's on one edge, you'll work on it on one edge and then you'll go to the other edge and just really work it down into the bowl. Okay, so I got that side done. And I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna connect my piece here. So I am using um, some of our stainless steel pieces um, from John Bead. So I'm gonna take two jump rings out I have my two little pliers here. Just going to connect it. And then let's connect my tassel. Actually, let's connect the earpiece. I'm going to show you guys some tassels here. Okay. And then you're going to want to do your other side but i got a couple different tassels here i want your guys's opinion so we got the blue one i got a nice color mauve 
I got purple. And then I got this really natural color. So these are our um, three layered tassels. Which one do you guys like? Which one should I use? Any preference? I feel like this mauve one is a perfect one for almost all of my fall and winter clothing. Maybe I'll go with the, this more natural color here. I'm going to go with this natural color here. Blue, mauve, got some answers coming through. Sorry, I'm a little delayed on... Waiting to see if anybody else pops up on here. Okay, I'm going to go with the mauve, you guys. These are going to be my um, fall time earrings. Well, honestly, I'll probably wear them all the time. But So you, it has this little loop on your tassel, and you just go ahead, stick it right through your jump ring, and then right through your hole you punched on the piece, and close it up. And there you go, you got one of your earrings already done. And then you just go ahead and you repeat the steps again. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that block out. Again, just using that straight tape, this is great for holding any of your um, metal pieces down when you're stamping. I'm just gonna tape that part, the top part of my, um, oh. So these metal stamping blanks are an inch, I believe, let me double check, yeah, an inch, and there's four pieces in them, and then they have a hole at the top. So you're only having to punch one hole in this piece. So again, I mean, since I got some people that joined in a little bit later, um, this is a multifunctional hammer, and it's got a little piece here that can kind of come in and out. I gotta untwist it. Come in and out. So you just pop that in there and then you're gonna twist that bottom in and make sure you hold it. I always tell people hold it this way because this guy, if you're just hammering away, it will eventually loosen up. So it's designed to have your hand down here and hold that into place. So your blank or uh, texture piece won't come out. And then you're just gonna hammer away. usually try to go um, kind of keep it in line and go back and forth until I got it how I like it. Again, get those edges all hammer toned out. Otherwise, they're going to be a little too straight compared to your other piece. tape onto the other side so I can get that piece there. Alright. Now we're done with the block. Again, I'm going to come in with that smaller size hold punch. Twist it down to where it'll just barely fit my piece. And then I twist. You'll feel like once it hits a metal piece, it'll have a little pressure. So just slowly twist down into it. And there it goes. I can, it'll kind of release the pressure a little bit once it has fully gone through the metal. And then once you feel that, you can slightly and slowly untwist it. Your metal piece will probably stick to it a little bit, but there you go, you got your holes. Now just come back into that dome piece. It's 
set my piece at the bottom and using my Argo hammer, I'm gonna go ahead and just hammer away until I get that nice dome shape I want. Sometimes I will notice um, if I'm a little off on my like center here, it won't be as even on the dome. So again, that's where you kind of push it to the side and even it all out. And don't be afraid to use some oomph behind this piece. Okay, I think I got it done the way I like, so I'm going to go ahead and pop that out. One thing nice about this is it also has its little holder, so you can just pop your little dome helper there. So I'm going to come back in with the jump rings. I'll attach my earpiece first, or my ear wire, sorry. Um, one thing I would watch when you're doing a um, punching a hole in your other side is make sure you don't have it um, too far in or if you do make sure you have a jump ring that can fit over the um, access metal you have so if it's really close you don't need a very big jump ring but if there's a lot of space you're gonna need a bigger jump ring I am using a six millimeter jump ring here so and it's working out just fine. Again, opening up that jump ring and popping that tassel on. You guys, these are so easy. Um, again, you can hammer tone um, bracelets, you can do other metal pieces. They're so easy, such a fun craft to do. Um, I really do love to do bracelet blanks and hammer toning the whole bracelet to mix in when I have them on my wrist, but yeah. And with this, you can have a piece that kind of overlaps, like let's say there's a crescent moon and you want to kind of give it a, a dome effect. You can also do that in here. Um, it just might, you're gonna have to again work it, kind of pushing it on the edges and getting that shape um, more even. But yes, this is a great tool if you have not used it yet. All right, you guys, that's all I have for you guys for these super quick and fun, trendy earrings. Yes, Cr Katrina, they're so fast. I love this project. And look how cute they are. Um, but yeah, you guys, thank you for joining me on this Sunday. Um, hopefully it doesn't rain too early and you're able to go out and enjoy the outdoors a little bit. If not, ha happy crafting. All right, you guys, have a good day.